It's early morning and there's a stir around the centre. Goff has returned from a call-out with an animal in an unbelievable predicament. Hi, right. Simon. What you got? Oh, yes. <laughs> I've got a fox who's got his head stuck in a, a car wheel. Is his neck particularly grotty, or is it? No, no, fine. It's all right. so I, you... I did give it a go myself. You can go straight back out then, theoretically. Mm, yeah. Before we can try to free the fox, we'll have to anaesthetise it. So we take it up to the hospital where Sarah is waiting. Right, oh, God. This is the first for us, although I did actually hear of one of these a couple of weeks ago. Look. There was lovely clapping bites, apparently, so. It might be worth at least him, actually, because he is quite bitey, isn't he? So I've covered in cooking oil, it hasn't done any good at all. Please don't right, cook he, me. He might well struggle a little bit because mm. they don't like the anaesthetic. Come on, Foxy. Uh, is he doing? Sticking his head through it? Well, it's probably some food or some, you know, yeah. or something the other side or whatever. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. I just you can't can't believe that it's even put its head through the hole. Let alone, I mean, I've just never seen anything like it. With the cub now unconscious, we can initiate a plan of action. We have a tried and tested method that we developed when rescuing deer stuck in railings. And we're hoping that a scaled down version will free the fox. What we're trying to do is basically sort of encase his head in plastic um, to make a smooth route back. The problem is it's easy to push something through one way um, and it obviously his head and his ear, um, skull's got through because it's a streamlined way of doing it. Let's just try the thinner one but... The trick is to find the right thickness of plastic that's strong enough. Then more importantly push the whole tube through with the animal's head inside. The problem is you're gonna, you're gonna have too much plastic. I mean, you're going to take up space with the plastic. Right. Ears need to go forward, really, don't they? Or stand, no, they don't. They need, need to go, to go backwards. Back. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go. Do you think his head's swollen too much now? Twisting through very slight angle back and forth, Goff. Yeah. That's we need to hold it. Go through, Simon. There's no way that's going through. Feel the size of that. His cheekbones. Mm. Well, I don't need to do what we do and cut around there, which we can do. We can cut all around there if we have to, yeah. but it's going to be. A, it needs to be an easy size the whole around. time. Yeah. Um, if he's done, if he's just today, just, just try once. Good. Just try a bit more. Else. Can you hold the tire really steady, yeah. Goff? Yeah. Got the tire. Yeah. All right, down. I don't think it's going to go through, mate. It's got, I've gone about half an inch since you said that. Yeah. You reckon, Sarah? Cooking oil. It's going, but... I don't see how the hell that can go through. I'm not... I mean, the You've size... only got about another quarter, I don't okay, know. OK, well, you just have to try it then. Yeah, just go for it, it, mate. Just go for it. Go on, it's moving. Go on, go on. A bit more weight. Speed. Go on, Speed. go on, go on. Go on. Go on. We, can't, we can't go quick, mate, don't we? Come on. Go on. Come on, it's coming. Come in. Keep going, son. Yeah, I've got that. The cardboard's yes. just said that's the trouble. Stop for a minute. OK. Right. Now, now give it. Can you pull that cardboard no, off? Don't pull the fox. Go on, keep going. Keep going, need it. Oh, done it. God for that. Right, let me get him on oxygen. I didn't like that, Dad, at all. No. Still breathing all right, look. Can you draw up um, half a mil of decks? What are they going to go and shut now? It's impossible. Where would I went? So swollen. Yeah, look, he's got his little cheeks in. Yeah. Well, I should feel better in a minute now. Just half a mil, yeah? Just giving him some steroids because any restriction around the head area has made his. Um, face swell up and um, the cheeks are very 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 swollen and obviously that's potentially put quite a lot of pressure on his eyes as well so he's going to be very sore. You can see now all of the swelling around the side of his face and above, 
beneath, beneath his eyes. Oh, it's very, very puffy. Just, this is going to cover his poor little head up. So we can be clean up. It's very oily. You have to blame me for that. I blame... <laughs> what was it? Cooking oil. <laughs> now the muzzle is on, we can safely clean up the remnants of Goff's initial rescue attempt. <sighs> well. But use the same idea if you use Alleywood, dear, because you can do it and they just come straight Yeah, out. those panels are always damp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, well, I mean, dear. I know. The, the call was fox stuck in a fence. Was it really? Yeah, that's, that's why we went out. But, but well, you could. Cutters and everything. Sort of fence, isn't it? Sort of. But, but look at the size of that hole. Oh, no. How on earth? Let's take him over and see if he's actually moving all right. We've done everything we can for the young cub. All he needs now is a quiet place to rest and recover. We'll check on the cub later in the day, and providing the swelling has gone down, we'll take him back to where he was found. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.